Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to learn about derivatives of log function. Just a little bit more. I know you're already bored, but yeah, that's what we must do. Okay, so for example, we have this fun. We want to derive b to the power of x how for example so this is what uh this is just uh pembuktian i'm not sure what is pembuktian in english but yes yeah. okay okay How can we get this? Okay, let me show you in numbers. So, this is the formula for uh, the derivative of p to the power of x. The derivative of b to the power of x is b to the power of x ln b. Okay, let's see example here. Let's see we have we want to find the derivative of 4 to the power of x. Okay, bear in mind, this is not the same with x to the power of 4. Okay, if x to the power of 4, what we will get? 4x to the power of 3. But no, this one and this one is not the same. So, to do it, to, to solve this, first x brought to the front and 4x minus 1. Right. Okay. Okay, and this is also. Sorry, I don't know. Okay, this is also wrong. This is not the way to solve it. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Whenever you found something like this, just remember this. Okay. So just write it back. So for the d d x of four to the power of x is. 4x ln 4. Okay. Okay, just remember the formula. Okay. Okay, so now we're moving on to derivatives of exponential function. Okay, just a uh, recap. Okay. Is y equal to ln x is also equal to log exponential x so this e e here is the exponential function okay okay now we're going to solve example 16 okay we start with number one y equal to x to the power of e plus e to the power of x okay um wait 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 uh, uh i think we show uh um uh, a few example on how to solve the derivative of exponential function Okay, let's see here, we have, okay, this one uh, not yet, okay? This one not yet, later, okay? Okay, this is another question, not, not in example 16. Okay, so we have y equal to e to the power of x. So how, how can we solve this? We just use this. Sorry. 
we just use this formula okay so it should be e x ln e okay and now we have y e to the power of 3x so what we the dy dx for this should be rewrite back the e 3x and then the derivative of the 3x here the derivative of 3x what is it the derivative of 3x you will get 3 right so final answer is this 3e to the power of 3x okay can, can you understand guys okay so whenever you have and uh, to derive exponential function you have to remember the dy dx of uh, that's ex so the dy dx of dx is also ex okay but when you have a value here okay when you have a value here you have to uh as you can uh as i said earlier the dy dx of ex is also ex so write back uh, if you have e to the power of 3x write again e to the power of 3x and derive whatever function on the top here okay so when you derive 3x you will get 3 so the final answer for this is 3e to the power of 3x. Okay. Um, sorry. So why this is e uh, when you derive ex. You will get uh, dy dx e to, uh, x to, e to the power of x not e. Okay, remember we are using the formula uh, before where b, uh, b to the power of x equal to b uh, ln b, right? So, why is it ln e is equal to 1? So, that is why. Okay. Okay, now uh, we're going to solve question number one. Sorry. X to the power of E plus E to the power of X. So, the dy dx for this equation is uh, we find uh, we try to calculate it one by one so x e the d d x of x to the power of e plus the d d x of e to the power of x so for this one here e brought to the front and x e minus one okay in this case here just treat e like any number okay and this, this one, uh, the derivative of e to the power of x is also e to the power of x. So now, we are going to pull uh, to write it uh, nicely. So e over x minus 1, x to the power of minus 1 is also equal to 1 over x so now we have e x e plus e x okay okay this one sorry let me write this nicely 
plus ex. Okay, so this is the final answer for question one. Now moving on to question two. Y equal to e x to the power x to the uh, e to the power of x ln three. So now, the, remember the dy dx of e whatever x is the same thing. Write the, write back the same thing, and then find the d the d dx of whatever on the top here. Okay, so whatever on the top here this time is x ln 3. Okay, so the dy, uh, I write it back again, e x ln 3. Remember, uh, when uh, we uh, solving the ln function, okay, ln can brought outside, right? Okay. Long 3 can brought outside. So now we just have to derive x. So derive x got 1. Final answer is e x. e to the power of x long 3 times long 3. So this is the final answer for question 2. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to solve question 3, which is y equal to e to the power of x ln x. Okay, looking at this equation, you can see that it is a multiplication of two functions. So, whenever you see multiplication of two functions, which formula you should use? Remember, okay. I just, uh, I just want you to uh, uh, refresh uh, back. What is it before I uh, wrote it down here? Okay. So, uh, we shall use the u v prime plus v u prime formula, which is the product rule. So u here is e to the power of x. U prime should be e to the power of x and v is ln x v prime is 1 over x okay so dy dx is i'll write it down again okay uv prime plus v u prime u v prime is e x to the power of x plus v u prime ln x times e to the power of x okay so final answer should be okay this is the final answer okay uv prime plus v u prime okay now we're going to solve question number four okay question number four is y equal to e to the power of x ln x square plus one okay as with the other a technique to solve exponential function the exponential of e to the power of x is e to the power of uh, x okay and whatever function that attach with it okay so e x ln x square plus one and or uh, and multiply with the d dx of whatever function at the top here which is in this case is x ln x square plus 1 okay looking at this equation there is two function here right one is x and the other is ln x square plus 1 so um, 
So now we show use the product rule because this is the multiplication of two function. So u is equal to x and u prime is 1. V is ln x square plus 1. V prime is 1 over x square plus 1 times with the ddx of x square plus 1. Right. Remember, this is the chain rule. So, final answer is 2x over x square plus 1. Okay, now we have solved this part here. I'm going to write it back. E x ln x square plus 1 times with u v prime which is x times 2x over x square plus 1 plus v u prime which is ln x square plus 1 times 1. Okay, write it back nicely. Two x square over x square plus one plus ln x square plus one, and this is the final answer for question number four. Okay. Okay, now we're going to solve question number five. Question number five looks a bit tricky, but it is solvable. Okay, don't be afraid. Okay, now we have y equal to x plus x square uh, plus one times with uh, to the power of n. Okay. So, the dy dx for this should be just 3n like any number. So, n brought to the front and x plus third x square plus 1 to the power of n minus 1. Okay? Don't forget the d dx of whatever function in the bracket chain rule guys okay so this should be x plus third x square plus one okay so now i'm uh, just uh, rewriting the first part here and x plus third x square plus one to the power of n minus one so the d dx for this is what guys? Okay. We um we're going to uh, solve it here. So the d dx of x is one and then the d dx of third x square plus one is okay. I think we should do it here. So as x square plus one is also equal to Right, x square plus 1 equal uh, to the power of uh, 1 over 2, right? Okay, then the d dx for this is, okay, uh, half brought to the front and x square plus 1 and then we, the, um, and this one should be um, half minus 1 you will get minus half and the d dx of whatever function in the bracket is 2x right 2x okay so half x square plus 1 minus to the power of minus half times with 2x. So, 2, 2 can be cancelled. So. 
Okay, remember, if it is to the power of minus 1, it is also equal to um, 1 over something, something, right? So, this is x plus third x square plus 1. Why? Because this is minus 1 here, to the power of minus 1. Okay? Times with 1 plus x over third x square plus 1. Okay? So, this is the final answer for question 5. So, that concludes our lecture for derivatives of exponential function. Okay, bye guys.